at part two of our backyard theater. And this part is going to be putting together the large backyard screen that we got. And so I'm opening a box here. I went to a website called Carl's Place. And you can just Google it and find it on there. And so this gives you a nice little kit uh, with the screen. And then all you got to do is provide uh, uh, one inch EMT piping for it. So it's like we have our obstructions here. The screen here, which is very heavy duty, it looks like it's pretty good. And underneath that, we have all of our things. So it comes with a variety of different fittings here. Uh, look at the instructions. And then uh, a whole bunch of bungees here. Uh, these connect to the screen through an eyelet uh, around the screen. So. So yeah, so it looks like that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. So to give you an idea of what it'll look like here. So here's kind of the instructions. So it's a freestanding full screen. So I went to Lowe's uh, and had all the conduit cut for me. Uh, I tried to do it myself initially. It was just far too uh, difficult here. I didn't have the uh, correct tools. So they were able to do it for me. So that's gonna save a lot of time. All right, I will uh, get started on putting this together here, and I'll be back. Okay, so here's our screen. Last night before I ran out of light, I didn't get a chance to give you an idea of the overall finished product here. Um, one thing that I did is, according to the instructions there, uh, whatever label they had on each one of the diagram there, I went on ahead and uh, wrote that on each one of the bars. So for example, this one's an H. Uh, and then I also, uh, on each one of the brackets there, I pointed to each letter on the frame. So that helps a lot. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see it on any of these here, but they recommend that on each bar you mark uh, at four inches. So in that way you know how far in it's supposed to go to the bracket. And so I did that with each one of the tubes. They're all uh, color coded uh, as well to make it that much easier. And the other thing that I did is after we had it together, I went ahead and identified all the brackets here with um, the same marking that they had on the instructions. And uh, the reason that I did that is because on some of these brackets, some of them are pretty obvious, like this one's just like a 90 degree bracket, uh, but then they have these other ones particularly that are like these four ways. And the problem is, and it's kind of hard to tell at this angle, but the problem is is that some of these four ways have different angles on them than the other ones. So, and so you can see these ones might be able to see it there as a little bit of a different angle. And so we ran into some problems when we were trying to put the whole thing together that you know, we had some of the angle brackets that I wasn't aware of that there was a difference between them. So we ended up kind of swapping back and forth uh, until we figured it out. So it was kind of some wasted time there. So so if you decide to get one of these kits, that's one of the things that I'd look out for is, you know, there's some different angle brackets. You probably want to identify them ahead of time before you start putting it together. Uh, and that'll save you some trouble. So, so yeah, so there you go. Uh, there's the frame, and give you a better view of it here. So you can see right now it's it's laying on its side. So the idea is you put your canvas that you're going to be projecting onto right in the middle there, straps on with bungees, uh, and then you just tip the whole thing up. So and so I'll go ahead and show you uh, the screen next here uh, and how you attach that. Okay, so I pulled out the screen here to give you an idea of what that looks like. And uh, I've been pretty impressed with the screen here. It uh, kind of has like a nice backing on it. It has a finished edge. It has these, well, you can see them around these little grommets here. Uh, and so then it comes with the bungees uh, that you just loop those in. And then you loop them onto the frame. I looped a couple of them here to give you an idea. 
of kind of what it looks like. But it kind of has uh, almost like a rubber kind of feel to it, so it feels uh, you know, really nice. And it's heavy quality, and I think it'll hold up. Uh, you know, even though they say it's not uh, to stay outdoors or anything, I think it would probably hold up pretty good. It's it seems like it's kind of washable. So, so yeah, the one thing that I would recommend when we we're putting this together was that you know we started doing all the bungees on this right in a row here on each side. Um, and kind of what we ended up doing to stretch it equally uh, is go back through, kind of undo it. And so we started then with just um, every other bungee uh, secured to it. And that made it a lot easier. So I made it out to where it stretches out because it should stretch out to where there's a few inches between the screen and the frame. So and like I said, it seems like these grommets are pretty good, like it's going to hold. So. so there you go. So I'll go ahead and finish uh, getting these grommets connected to here and then show you what it looks like uh, once it's attached to the frame. Okay, so now I have all the bun bungees uh, connected here to the frame. And so you can see it uh, stretches it out pretty nice. And so you can see you just connect all the bungees, go all the way through and get them all connected. Stretches out the creases pretty good. Uh, I did notice that there's still, you know, a few creases here and there. Uh, cause this, this size of screen, it uh, ships folded, so it's a 165 inch diagonal. So, but I think for backyard use, it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, you know, I think if it was more indoors, dedicated home theater, then I might be more concerned about it. So. But uh, it worked pretty good on our trial run last night. So. so there you can see it's flipped over, uh, assembled. So then all you got to do is flip it up on its feet and you're good to go. And uh, weight-wise, it isn't too bad um, to flip it up. Uh, it's got these support feet. So, so I could probably do it on my own uh, without too much trouble. So. All right, so there you go. I will go on ahead and flip it up next here and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we go. So I just uh, flipped this up here. Uh, didn't have any problems flipping it up on my own, so so that's good. And so you can see it's pretty sizable. So. And the uh, film that I picked out was the like their ultra wide it has a gain of 1.1 uh, which was better for the 3d that my uh, projector does so and as far as like I was a little bit concerned about ambient light from like the neighbors uh, porch lights and stuff but uh, after last night uh, I didn't have any problems with that so I'm gonna walk around it here so you can see the whole screen So you can see here it has like a back coating on it. So it's like a vinyl kind of rubberish material. Again here you can see you know, how I marked the pipes here. So I marked it exactly as it is on the uh, assembly instructions and then I color coded each one of the pipes and put the uh, letter on them. So that way when it comes to reassembly time it should be a lot easier. And I think once you get it down it probably won't take too long to uh, reassemble it uh, from completely taking it apart. So.